Hello boys and girls and welcome to the episode 70. Oh wow, it sounds a lot. 70 weeks. Episode 70 of the Iron Meditation, the Art of Living and Lifting podcast and I'm your host, Coach Michael. So, let's talk about the do's and the don'ts. We all know the exercise. I believe make a list of the things you don't like or you're not willing to do or you don't. And let's assume we actually do make this list, how long will it take us to list all the things, and I mean everything that we don't want, like, uh, do, eat, whatever. I assume it will take us a while, like, wow. Now, does it progress us? Let's say you finish the list, all right? I finished the list, and actually I've done this exercise many times um, when I began my path of self-development, okay? Like of this practical, I call it practical uh, psychology or iron meditation. Um, so when I did it, I've done the list like I don't want to do this job, I don't want to do sales, I don't want to do marketing, I don't want this type of a woman, I don't want that type of a job. Fine. And it took me nowhere. Because if you pause for a second, okay, let's do do the exercise with me now, please. If just don't drive, <laughs> please. Okay? Like Sit for a second, close your eyes, um, and take a deep breath. No, no, it's not going to be this posh uh, headspace stuff where, like, imagine the blue ocean and whales and stuff. No, no, no. We are, it's like, you know, lifting kettlebells. We are practical here. All right, close your eyes. Um, take a deep breath. And just be there. Now, upload the things you don't want. And again, just be there. Don't scroll. If you practice it long enough, or even now, I'm sure that like this vast body of knowledge kind of filled your head. Like all the things you don't want are already there. You don't have to list them. It's something that is immediately present. Now, stay in it, stay in the state, in this state, and think, what do you do want? And suddenly, and probably, there will be some disruption of cognitive thought, like, what do I want? Like, hmm, I never thought about that. We all know what we don't want, but do we want? I don't want to go to that vacation with you. All right. What vacation do you want? Can you describe it? I want it to be fun. Well, I want to be rich and famous. I want to be healthy and famous. Like, what does healthy and famous or rich and famous famous even mean to you and to me? You see? All right, so let's take a breath and snap out of the state for a second, all right? Let's get back to reality, people. Suddenly, thinking about things we don't, we do want, makes an effort, like a real effort of actually thinking. And this is what thinking is all about. It's not talking inside our heads, but it's doing an actual job. Okay, this is like, this is a practical thinking. This is thinking that takes you places. Okay, I had a guy approach me on Instagram, like a uh, coach, I'm, you know, following this and I'm following you and I don't quite experience progress with my kettlebells and 
like the basic question I asked him like what do you want and he stumbled and he told me the things that he don't want <laughs> and this is what we prone to do okay like kind of survival me mechanism okay uh, staying alive and escape the dangers okay and like staying in the gene pool right like I cannot focus I have like you know I'm hopping from program to program I'm like my workouts are hectic like okay I understand that you don't want these but what do you want and again it took us about three times of ping pong until I received an answer like I want to be fit and I want to be strong amazing now these are all general concepts okay I am a father I have two daughters and the last thing I'm going to say to them dear I just want you to be happy what the fuck must my daughter do with this fatherly advice except wiping her ass with it and even that she cannot do all right like what kind of stupid advice is it be happy like what does it mean can you describe happy and for her by my standards okay how i understand it or maybe teaching her how to like practically describing happiness what happy means like being alone like having an independent kid and making a huge ton of money so she can be independent and like deal with no man in her life like you know i'm just you know like really shooting far here <laughs> all right or marrying an amish guy and you know moving to a closed community and completely disconnecting from this world the wars and everything living in nature kind of in peace worshiping god what happy means what do she wants and we need to teach and before we teach our kids let's teach ourselves and it starts with trying to really manifest what does fit and fit sorry and strong means like is it 200 snatches like is it 100 to arm long cycles is it earning enough money to travel four times per year and staying in um four seasons hotels because these sums can be calculated very easily and very easily you now know what do you want all right and from this you can derive what kind of money you need to bring home so you can travel and do you want to travel alone or you do want to travel with your partner all right and what type of a partner you want all right just don't tell me beautiful all right and someone who cares for me what caring means all right so the point i'm getting there okay that knowing what what we don't want don't take us anywhere the moment we manifest what do we want and in practical terms like you know what think about this old business smart goals okay simple measurable attainable uh re realable like yes real and on t, t and timeline something all right like think in these terms and trust me when you do you will make a fucking leap okay like light years like beam me up scotty stuff okay and you find yourself in a place <laughs> and again when you know what you want you can write a training program i don't know how to program for guys who want to be fit and strong honestly i don't i can't it's like coaching a celebrity like i know a carbon dioxide life form which is homo sapiens human beings that i can coach them they have physiology like celebs or influencers i don't know these life forms i can <laughs> i cannot program for them all right so when you have like and you know what you want i can program it and you can program your lifestyle or whatever in very simple steps so i believe you have a homework to attend good luck and 
let me know how it goes. I'll be really happy to hear that.